Hi, I'm Bart Lottenbeck. I'm the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Talent Solutions here at Equifax. I think the first thing I tell my younger self is just get started doing something. It may not be the perfect thing that uh, I'm gonna do for the rest of my life, but getting started and making that decision and learning, uh, I then can find out even what I don't wanna do, or I can double down on what I want, do wanna do. The second thing is that when people think about becoming a leader or a general manager or other areas, is it requires the ability to have a series of skills across a number of different areas. At times, it's more important that you think about what skill am I going to create versus what level am I going to rise to. I started my career in IT consulting. And from there, I went in and went back to business school and took a position in marketing. And I spent 10, 15 years in marketing. And I realized that even though I was making marketing decisions about you know, the customer and the competition. I really didn't understand the customer enough, so I took a role in sales. And then as I, I spent time in sales, you know, I drew back on either the marketing or the product decisions I was able to make. And that made me much stronger in each of those areas because I had some background, some basis for which to make decisions. It also allowed me, when I worked with my colleagues who were then in marketing, and I was a salesperson, I understood what it took to either get products to market or put campaigns together. And that allowed me to come to where they are and probably make a better decision overall. My top career tips and advice for those that want to grow and advance in their career, the first thing is just uh, make sure that you're curious. Make sure that you are trying to learn everything you can. Second thing is show up. You know, a lot of people say, um, I can do the job remotely. And I think that, at, you know, especially in early career, making sure that you're with a group of people that you can learn from and getting quality work out of it's really important. Not FaceTime, but quality work. And then lastly, do the small things well. That's something that has come out in some of the, the best literature for some of the greatest leaders. And they've said, start with doing the small things well, and that gives people confidence to put you on bigger things.